To create this lioness drawing, you're going to need some plain white paper, a pencil, an eraser, and a black pen. We're going to start off our lioness with an oval shape, slightly tilted to the right hand side. So just here on the left hand side of the page, very lightly in pencil, I'm just going to draw a rough oval shape. So remember, if I go too quickly, just hit pause and rewind. There's our lovely oval shape. So if you can imagine a line, a straight line going across horizontally. Here, now I'm going to add a circle next to the oval shape and it's going to be hitting this line on the bottom part, okay? So you can draw around something if you like or you can use my other tutorial which you'll find in the link above on how to draw a perfect circle. So here we go. There we go. As you can see, this circle's a lot shorter than this oval shape. We're now going to draw a circle exactly the same size, well, exactly, roughly, as this one. So I'm just measuring with my hands. It's going to be about this wide, but it's going to be slightly further up. So if you're drawing around something, it will be much easier because you just use your your round object just to draw around again. If you're drawing it freehand like me, that's fine as well. Just try and make them roughly the same size. There we go, brilliant. Now we're going to be drawing a smaller circle which is going to be the head of the lioness. So this one's just here. It's not touching this oval shape, it's just slightly to the left hand side and it's much smaller than the other ones. We go. It's also slightly higher than this oval shape that we have over here. Now we're going to join up this circle to the oval shape with the diagonal line. And the same on the top, just like so. We're going to be drawing the back, so joining up the circles and the ovals to there. Now we're going to be adding the muzzle area, which is just a little line like this. Don't worry, no details yet. And then the ears, so one ear here, and another ear here. Ear today, gone tomorrow. Bad joke alert. Okay, here's one eye, there's another eye. Now we're going to do the legs. So, if you measure about three quarters of the way from here to here, measure that using your fingers, that's roughly the length of the leg. So give us a rough guide. Again, these measurements don't have to be precise. Just helping me to get a kind of a feel of the dimensions. There we go. And then for the hind legs, we're going to be doing just slightly different. We're doing a shape like this. Like a curved triangular shape like so. And then there's gonna be a line coming down. Try and make the feet on a level, just like that. And then for the hind leg, starting further up on this circular shape, going to be coming down and round like so. And again, this one's going to be just slightly higher up, ever so slightly. And then we're gonna add the tail goes all the way down like that. So I'm going to switch to pen just so that you can see it better, but please do carry on in pencil. So I'm going to start off with the nose area. So the nose just comes down like so. I'm going to colour it in. Can you see that? And then I'm just going to be drawing the muzzle area. Just like so, and then the chin, and it comes up like that. We're then going to go upwards, so the nose goes upwards with a slight curve. Here we're going to be drawing the eyes, so lionesses are such powerful creatures. There's one eye there. 
and then another one on the other side. going to be following the head upwards. I'm going to be making the ear slightly higher because I can see that my preparatory drawing was just slightly too low. So the ear is going to come up and around like that. I'm going to be doing the cheekbone here and then the other ear again. I'm going to be drawing that slightly higher than I did before. This is the beauty of doing preparatory drawings in pencil is that you can then erase them or change them. There we go, the inside of the ear is really fluffy. It's the outside of the ear on that one. And then we're going to be finishing off the face. So, quite furry round here. So I'm just using some dashes just to show the fur. Line goes up and then there's a line that comes down here. We're then going to carry on with the fluffy furry bits coming downwards like so. So lions tend to live in groups which are called prides and in the pride it's usually the females that do the majority of the hunting. So there we go. I'm going to carry on this leg coming downwards to about here which is when I'm going to start the pull. So just drawing a series of curved lines to show the comes upwards and then the back of the leg comes all the way up all the way up here I'm going to be drawing the tummy so starting just here we're going to be coming downwards and then curving upwards just till we hit this circle shape here since it's a female lion, we're going to be adding a few teats. Lionesses are extremely caring and they'll actually take care and um, feed all the little lion cubs that have been abandoned. So we're just going to carry on with the hind legs now. So a curved line coming round until we hit it here. Then it's going to come downwards. And again, we've got the paw. going to come upwards and then we're coming all the way up till we hit the circle and we carry on upwards to there. Now we're going to be drawing the other hind leg so just here. I'm going to be bringing it around, going to follow this preparatory shape that we did before and it's going to come down and round. And then the other paw. Come upwards. And up like so. And then for the tail. Comes all the way down. Got a little fluffy bit at the bottom. then comes upwards and we follow this line that we did before till it joins onto body. And there's quite a smooth join so you just carry on, draw the back until we reach the shoulder area just there. Now we're going to draw the other front leg. This one's just peeping out from behind this one. Slightly higher up obviously and comes down like this. We're going to add the ground so kind of standing on a rock really majestically just like that there we go okay so if you haven't gone over it in pen already do so now and then we're going to raise all the pencil marks okay so I've raised all the pencil marks let's add some details so how about some spots for where the whiskers go just doing some lines of dots here and some little whiskers just coming out. And there we go. 
And then I'm going to add a little bit of shadow underneath here. So just drawing a series of lines there, a little bit of shadow underneath here. All the way underneath here. we go and also underneath here I'm going to add a line of muscle here and then they've got a line of muscle just coming in and around like this so a curved shape like so and again some muscle here and there's another little line of muscle they're extremely muscular so it's good to add in all this muscle it really helps make them look realistic another line of muscle just coming down here and one there if you can see that and then I'm just drawing a curved line there and another one coming down like so. Then one here. A little bit of shadow underneath the tail. And then a little bit of shadow just here and underneath here on the far side. This other leg that's peeping out from behind there. And we need to add a little bit more muscle, so a line of muscle coming down and a tiny bit of shadow just here. Another little bit of muscle. Some more shadow on the face. And a line here. Just going to draw a lot of shadow here. And I'm just going to carry on this shadow. There we go, we're making it look really realistic. Make this a little bit darker, this area. A little bit darker down here. And behind here as well. Brilliant, now we're going to add some shadow underneath the lioness. Brilliant, so there we have our finished lioness.